The fact that there's some beasts out there that can be slow, wrinkly, and well over 100 years old and are still rock hard is a weird sciencey fact that boggles my mind. The Galapagos tortoise obviously comes from the Galapagos Islands, but I was today years old when I learned that the islands are named after the tortoise and not the other way around. Galapagos means saddleback, and when the Galapagos Islands were named in 1570, they were named that because there were so many tortoises there that they decided to call it Island of the Saddleback as their shells resemble a saddle. In fact, there was an estimated 250 50,000 of the massive reptiles at the time, and sadly that dwarfs today's dwindling population of around 17,000. Now the islands that these tortoises call home would remain relatively obscure for a couple hundred years until Charles Darwin decided they were the perfect place to study his theory of evolution. And while Charles was there studying his satanic godless theory of science, he found a little tortoise named Harriet. I mean, she wasn't named that at the time, that's what he named her. Anyway, in 1835, Darwin brought Harriet back to Australia, and if you're a 90 kid, you may have been lucky enough to see clips of her hanging out with Steve Irwin on TV when you were growing up. That's right, Steve Irwin hung out with the still very much alive Galapagos tortoise Charles Darwin personally brought back to Australia. And that's one of the most mind-boggling things about these reptiles is that in the wild they can live up to a century, but in captivity they can live up to two. In fact, Harriet herself was 175 years old when she passed away, and there's Galapagos tortoises around today that could have been alive before the start of the Civil War. But as a Galapagos Galapagos tortoise was depicted as Professor Farnsworth in the nature documentary episode of Futurama, we all know that these tortoises can live a long time. But in addition to living a long time, they also live large, quite literally, as they are the largest tortoise on the planet. Females average about 250 pounds, and males are double that at around 500 pounds, but the largest recorded Galapagos was named Goliath at a whopping 920 pounds. To put that into perspective, that is heavier than Harley here. Probably not Jameson, though. He's fat. And in addition to their impressive size, you'll probably be surprised to learn that it's not their shell that makes them so hefty. It's large deposits of fat. Makes you feel a little better about that winter weight, doesn't it? And it'll make you feel even better if you've ever felt bad about a diet not doing what you'd hope, because they can go for over a year without eating or drinking. So if you ever thought it was hard to shed that freshman 15, think about just how bad Harriet had it. Must be a zookeeper's favorite animal. They gotta be easier to take care of than a cactus. And the fact that there's half-ton tortoises that can keep on trucking for 212-month trips around the sun, well, that is pretty mind-boggling.